Jess is gonna bring you numbers. Jess with the mess, and this is real. On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stock. All right, so this one pissed me off, y'all, because I did just tease that Tory Lanez has to, you know, he about to sit down for his first interview from mm -hmm. prison. Mm -hmm. But it's so simple. Um, I didn't listen to the audio before. I wouldn't have reported it. Um, but this is very simple. This is what it said. Oh, yo, chat, by the way, free my dog Tory, man. A and X Tory Lane stream. Uh, it's going to be a Zoom call, chat. He's going to be in jail, and I'm going to be uh, at the warehouse. Zoom call very, very soon. Why would you speak on it before you even get a date? Like, oh, uh, my god. get gosh. everybody excited. Just like, just like yeah. my dumb ass. Yep. I'm sitting up there talking yeah, <laughs> yep. oh, my God. We about to, yep. I'm, I'm about to report it. I was happy as hell. Yep. It's called promotion. I know, right? Crazy. All right. Um, Ryan Garcia shares another update. Yesterday, we reported on Ryan Garcia's recent activity on social media. Hack messages. He claims everything was happening to him from kidnap, you know, kidnapping. And uh, he lost access to his money, mm -hmm. et cetera, all of that stuff. Since then, TMZ released another video of Ryan Garcia. And the newest video... He addressed his uh, last few social media posts and says how things will go moving forward. Here to announce my return back to Instagram. Now, over these past couple of days, you guys have seen some pretty intense things. I understand what they are and I understand what they look like. But I'm coming back to announce I'm not going to speak on any other topic other than boxing, sports, and my fight. That's the only thing I'm going to be talking about. I'm training for this fight. I want everybody to know this fight's still on. 420, five weeks of super focus. I have PBD helping me in this camp and many other warriors. So I thank you guys for the support and I'll see you guys on 420. You know the problem with very, all these situations? Nice. What? The backdrop of the fight. So being that we know there's a fight on 420, mm -hmm. we just can't determine what's real and what's not real. Like how we just talked about Tory mm -hmm. Lanez because we know that was promotion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how, how do we know that all of this stuff just isn't promo? How do we know it's, it is? How, how do we know? I That's mean, what I'm saying. I, we know. I, I just, I really feel like it has nothing to do. All we can do is just give opinions on what we think, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I don't, I don't feel like any of that stuff yesterday, you know, was had anything to do with the fight. I still think he always wanted to fight. I don't think this was the back out of a fight or anything. I really think that he's selling he the hell out of this fight right now. Yeah, so if, if Ryan Garcia is going to fight April twentieth against Devin Haney, we're all tuning in. He's got casuals ready to watch. And by the way, yeah. Ryan Haney always. I mean, Ryan Garcia always uh, does good pay, pay per view numbers as it is. But he definitely nice. got people intrigued to want to see this fight uh, on four twenty, even casuals. Yeah, yeah what, what Devin Haney yesterday said that uh, he feels like Ryan Garcia is playing crazy to promote the fight. See, why you gotta be crazy? Why you gotta mm -hmm. be playing crazy, Devin? He said he's just <laughs> asking for attention. He's definitely selling the hell out of this fight. Well, mm -hmm. hopefully what he said gets enough attention in the world. You know what I'm saying? But until then, we can keep on speaking Jesus' name like he said, because why wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. Moving on. Cam Newton speaks on recent fight. Um, Cam Newton appeared on an episode of The Big Podcast with Shaq. He spoke on the fight that was caught on camera at his football camp. That's what he had to say. What you saw was those are grown men. They were, those weren't kids. That narrative was familiar coaching and it got chippy for me that's not the first time that happens and honestly knowing my world that probably won't be the last i think yeah people see like yeah cam standing on business yeah cam had bobby pins in his head you know those are all funny mm -hmm. things but when i look at it it's like man it could have got ugly on both yes. sides because i'm the type of person when i feel triggered i react i, I don't think and that's the issue I, I said the same I thing. I do agree. Yeah, you did. You did say that when it happened. Um, I ain't like how Shaq was like, so So what happened at your little football camp? First of all, Shaq, just because you're bigger than everything, <laughs> don't mean, don't be doing all that. I hate when we reference, you know, accomplishments as little. But yeah, I, I felt like um, I would even like to apologize because I kept saying kids, kids, but they look like kids next to your big ass cam. Mm. So yeah, but they were grown men. And mm -hmm. um, like he said, things could have gotten ugly on both sides. And um. He reacted the wrong way or whatever, but that was his first time speaking on it. But I think it's a, a, a lot, a lot of lack of respect, right? Yeah, and I see it all the time, especially too. with athletes, with with people that do well. You see it with comedians. Oh, you ain't funny, or you see it with mm -hmm. athletes. Oh, I bust your ass right now, or you see it all the time where people test these these people that that show their compliments and don't give them the props. I see it all yeah. the time because everybody yeah. got a smartphone now and everybody got their own little reality show going on. Right. And they think we all uh, extras and guest stars and they they reality show. Right. That's the smartest thing you ever said, Charlene. <laughs> All right, moving on. Gerard Carmichael <laughs> shares his family's reactions to him being gay. So Gerard Carmichael is releasing a self-titled docu-series. Oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> He's releasing a self-titled docu-series on HBO. The show will follow his life at home and his relationship with his parents. And we have a little snippet of the trailer. Number eight. 
<laughs> you don't have number eight. There's no eight. Oh my god! All right, well I'm gonna report it in the second hour because I got only got a few seconds anyway. This is some. Oh my gosh. I did hear you tease that story earlier, so I don't know why it's not in there. That's crazy. I literally edited myself. I, I know. Jesus. All right. Well, that Thank is just you, with the best. Thank you, producers. Thank you so much. You got it now? You got it now. But now you're about to swirl your fingers, so I'll get to it next. <laughs> <laughs> when All we right. come back, we got front page news, and then uh, Xboxer Andre Ward will be joining us. So don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.